With respect to work instructions, we are seeing a lot of our clients developing their own work instruction formats and sharing them among the different users who maybe have access to Timer Pro. Uh, just to recap again, the uh, actual templates for the work instructions are stored in your documents area under Applied Computer Services, which is the name of our company. And in here, you'll find the templates folder. And these are all the different templates that are used in the Timer Pro. And of course, you can develop your own here. So for instance, we've got one down here, which is a model mold development template down here. And you can see its prefix is MMD. And as previously described, there are two files involved in the work instructions. There's the XLSM, which is the uh, micro enabled um, work instruction format in Excel. And there's also a configuration file that basically contains some pointer information that tells uh, the program how to populate the uh, work construction format that you've designed here. Now, if we open up this MMD uh, instructions.cfg, the configuration file, this is what we actually see inside there. So you can see it's pointing to the particular template, the MMD, it's pointing to the XLSM file. And it's got some information here regarding the sheet to use, and here are the different um, uh, pointers to where it starts to drop the data. That's the data items here. And the information I want to show you is this one here. This is the info.model. This is the name that we've assigned this particular work instruction format. It's called model mold development right here. All right. Now let's assume that I'm a, a, a user in another area of the facility and you're going to send this, these formats over to them for the, cause they want, you want them to use the same uh, designs that you've developed here. What's the easiest way to do that then? What you'd want to do is give whoever is going to be receiving the work instructions these two files. Again, you always give them the CFG and the XLSM, the micro-enabled format here. So these two files for each of the uh, work instruction formats you want to spread around among your users. So you'd basically just copy them or email them to them. And when they receive them, they're going to put them into the same templates folder, which again in, in Windows 7 is in Documents, Applied Computer Services, uh, templates folder. If you happen to be using Windows XP, uh, the uh, the path is, is different. Again, it's forced on us by Microsoft. That path would actually be the uh, C drive, documents and settings, all users, shared documents, applied computer services, then templates. So it's different depending on which type of operating system the user is using, whether it's XP or Windows 7. But for Windows 7, it's under documents, applied computer services, templates. Place those files in here and then they would be able to proceed. So what we do is we bring up the balance module, and we go over to the file here, and we get down to the options area here. And then we click on the settings. Now by default, when you click on the open here, you'll see the two work instruction formats that we provide with the package. They're called work instructions and called job breakdown here. Now let's assume that you now want to add your own custom format to this list here. In fact, you may want to well delete these. I'll cover that in a moment here too, right? Get them out of there because that's not what you're going to use. So what we do is we just cancel this option. We go to the add option here. And instead of filling in this data, we simply go to the browse here. And it will present the ones that you have available. So as I mentioned, here's the work instruction format we give you. Here's the job breakdown format. Here's my uh, model mold development right here. So all I'm going to do is point at this and click on the open here and it instantly takes you back. Why? Because it's actually looked up the information and it's pulled the information in and it's now made it available. If I go to the open here now, here you see my model mold development is now listed here. So you can do this very easily to add any work construction formats you might receive from other people in your company or others, other sources. You simply go to the add, you browse, you select the appropriate format, and as long as you have both the uh, Excel sheet, the XLSM, and the corresponding CFG file here, it will automatically populate your list of work instructions with the one you've just added here. Now, let's say you wanted to remove the two that we give you. And that's also useful because every time we give you an update, we're going to update these two particular formats. You really don't want to use the WI or the JBS format that we're giving you here. So what we do is we're going to remove, remove them. We simply come in. We click on the delete here. It's presenting a list. We click on the one we don't want. We click on the OK. It asks us to confirm. We say yes, and it's gone. And it can take out the other one too. Same way. Click on it, confirm, and it's gone. 
So now you're just left with the one that you're looking for here. So again, if you wanted to add back the ones we, we gave you, it's very straightforward. You go to the Add, you go to the Browse, you pick the Work Instructions, you click on the Open, and if you go, you'll see they've been added right here. And now if you go to the other one, you can Add again, Browse, pick in the Job Breakdown one, the one we give you, click on the Open, go and look at it, and you'll see them listed here. This gives you a really good way to easily add and remove work instruction formats that you might use for your particular operation.